Hey, this is Tristan from Hip Cooks and we are at the West LA Cooking School and today I'm going to show you how to saute zucchini. So I had three zucchini here that I sliced on a bias. If you want to go straight down and make full moons or half moons by cutting them in half, that's fine, that's up to you. But you think about a quarter inch thick would be a nice uh, width for zucchini. So start it with some olive oil in the pan. Get that nice and hot. And about medium heat. And we will dunk our zucchini in. So I'm just testing to see if I hear any sizzle, sizzle, which I do. So I will throw in zucchini. Slowly. Make sure these are separated. There we go. So zucchini are often overcooked, which doesn't taste very good. So this should be about a five minute process, if that. It's one of those things you want to do right before you serve. Don't think you can cook it and then let it sit for a long time because they'll tend to get a little soggy. So once they're in the pan, sprinkle of salt, a few grinds of pepper, just for flavor. Again, this is something if you like oregano, thyme, basil, fresh rosemary, any of those fresh spices or herbs rather will go nicely with zucchini. So whatever you have in your yard, throw it on in there. Okay. Just gonna let them sit for a little bit. I'm looking to get a little brownish, a little sear on them. So I'm in about medium heat right now. Okay, I've let these go for just a couple of minutes and I can see that they're ready to really start turning and flipping around because the tops of them are starting to sweat. So just get them flipped around and you'll notice that there's some water spraying because water's come out of the zucchini. My arm is getting sizzled. And you don't have to worry about flipping every zucchini over, that's silly. Just give them a good stir or flip with the pan. And then get them evened out in the pan. So have a fork ready, which I have now, for a little poke. And you want them to be firm, not mushy. They could still use probably another minute. Feel with your fork. There we go. And if you want to taste one along the way, certainly do that. Maybe you want to add more seasoning. So it's always good to taste along the way to make sure that it tastes just the way you want it to. But don't burn your tongue. With my fork, the fork is going through easily. There's not a lot of resistance. I really don't like to overcook zucchini, so I'm calling it good. And that's how to make zucchini. Thanks for watching. If there are any other dishes you'd like to see me prepare, please send us an email at requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.